In TF2, balance is an important thing, but often is subject to varied perspectives. What's perfectly fine to some is overpowered to others, or even overpowered to another group. It's often the start of debates and complex conversations, but here they will be... So, the Natasha, or at least the latest version of it, has been a bit of a spectacle as of late. Some call it broken. Some say it's actually functional for the first time, and some just think it's just doing its job. However, at the center of things, the Natasha is being used as a cornerstone to crux the debate on anti-mobility items and effects in TF2. So, what's happened? What changed to fire up the community about this? Well, in Jungle Inferno, weapons that cause slowdown were adjusted so that they would properly register their effects, quote-unquote which made the Natasha's old stutter step turn into a crippling crawl that stops opponents dead. Quite literally. And there were quite a few people who weren't happy about this. The scout mains. Yo, what's up? All joking and cyberbullying aside, opponents of the Natasha argue that the slowdown effect both requires no skill from the user and takes skill from the person being hit by taking away their only means of evasion. These critiques are somewhat correct. The Natasha, by design, denies mobility as a feasible option against it, and as such, makes it easier to track enemies. However, that is an oversimplification of how it works. The slowdown effect, like damage, comes with falloff, and it's fairly simple to stay out of effective range like you would with any other heavy primary. In addition, the Natasha is still an extremely linear weapon. A flank attack works just fine with no hindrance, and on top of that, the Natasha comes with a spin-up time penalty and a distinctive rev sound, so it shouldn't be all that hard to get the drop on a heavy or simply not run directly headfirst into a Natasha from the front. As for the tracking, yes, it's easier in the sense that you don't have to deal with an opponent's fancy footwork and you can just spray them down. However, it's a very different style of tracking from other miniguns, very gradual and inconsistent with rotation speed, as, once again, the slowdown varies at range. To put it simply, yes, it's easier to track down an opponent who rushes you head-on with a Natasha, but it isn't quite as brain-dead as, say, another particular class's style of doing business. And now I'm just gonna drop down and delete everything. And to defend the Natasha a little bit more, because I'm totally unbiased about this, definitely. The Natasha does have a damage penalty, and a fairly hefty one at that. Sure, you can slow people down, but you lose a lot of damage. Granted, it's enough to do the job in most situations, but the Natty ain't a powerhouse, which is why, even with the update, you'll still see more heavies running stock in Tommy than the rest, including the Natasha. On top of that, anti-mobility items are plenty in TF2. There's the Sandman, the force of nature, explosive knockback on literally every explosive weapon, and the existence of Pyro as a whole. People complain about losing mobility to the Natasha when, realistically, there's a whole lot more to in that too. And, to be honest, in my opinion, in a game where mobility is the key to victory, it's only fair that options exist to limit the opponent's mobility, and it's only fitting that the least mobile class in the game gets the strongest mobility cancelling option. Still, I can understand people's frustrations. It's not fun having your main shut down and your primary tool taken away from you. To which I have to say... Fuck you! I hate all of you! In conclusion, the Natasha's fine. He's a little stupid. Yeah. Is it a little mean to Boston boys and WM1s and rocket jumpers? Yeah, but for the most part they deserve it, so fuck them. I like the Natasha. It's not unreasonable, and it's still outclassed by the stock and Tommy Slav, even after it's been made broken and unfair. It's fun, and it provides a good option and a good way to handle things that the Heavy normally wouldn't be able to do. And like I said, it's fun. Unless you're a scout main. In which case, fuck you.